Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the cabin air filter replacement in our Chrysler Town & Country, coming up. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be changing the cabin air filter in our Chrysler Town & Country 2012 uh, at the request of my wife. We've been driving around in the van now and we've noticed that the what we feel is the air quality in the van uh, is starting to get a little musty and maybe even have a little bit of an odor to it. And uh, one of the ways to fix that is to change your cabin air filter. You may not have even known that your minivan has a cabin air filter, but on the Chrysler Town & Country's 2012 it does. It's hidden pretty good, so I'll show you guys here in a moment where that's, where that's located. Um, make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'll tell you in calling the dealer what they were going to charge me for them to do it as well as what I paid to get the cabin air filter myself and do the maintenance here. Um, let's jump right in. So to get access to your cabin air filter you're going to want to go to your glove box. Now in this vehicle there's a compartment up here. You want to go to this compartment that's down here and go ahead and open this compartment up. And what we're actually going to do is on the sides of this drawer are going to be two little, uh, I, I guess I would call them two little nubs or two little pieces that are going to hold the drawer uh, to keep it from completely going all the way down. I'm going to push in and you can see that that has come loose and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And by doing that, that allows me to get the drawer down a little bit further and I can get my hand behind it. So inside behind the drawer there's going to be this black plate and on either side of this are two black clips and they push in so I'm going to use my finger here and just kind of push that in and there's a clip on the other side but I'll be able to pull this drawer off and that's going to give me access to the cabin air filter. I'm going to go ahead and grab that cabin air filter Pull it out for you. And that guy is Ooh, filthy. That's nasty. So here's going to be the new cabin air filter that I ordered. We're going to pull this guy out. So here's my new cabin air filter. Here's my old cabin air filter. You can see the difference in them. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in this new cabin air filter. So I've got the filter all the way in. I'm going to go ahead and replace my cap. Making sure that that is snapped back on secure. So that's the process to changing the cabin air filter. Pretty simple. A um, couple neat things that I wanted to tell you. You might be wondering the importance of the cabin air filter. Um, its main job is to keep out dust, different pollutants, pollen, um, you know, like mold. Uh, keep all that stuff out of the air of the cabin so that stuff's not going into your nose, you're not breathing that stuff in during the ride. So it is very important that you change out the cabin air filter. How often should you change out the cabin air filter? So in my manual it says every 16,000 miles to replace your cabin air filter. Uh, the other thing that I did is I called our local uh, Chrysler dealership and asked what they were going to charge to have them replace the cabin air filter. Uh, they had quoted me $65 to do, uh, you know, basically for the cabin air filter and then to do the maintenance work that we just did. Uh, I was able to pick up this cabin air filter online, I believe for under 10 bucks, and I will put a link down in the description below where you can check that out as well so you can see exactly what I use to do the maintenance here for this job. 
Hey guys, I have a lot of fun doing these videos and I hope maybe you learned something in this video. Maybe it even saves you some money. Uh, if so, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, leave me a comment down below. Give me some feedback. Let me know of maybe some other maintenance projects you'd like to see me do on vehicles uh, or other tips or tricks that I can help you guys out with. If you are new to this channel, uh, there's a, a ton of different videos on car maintenance. I've done things like changing my brakes, uh, changed the battery in my key fob, um, changed the air filter, uh, all sorts of stuff. So you can definitely check those out as well as I do a lot of tech toy and gadget reviews on this channel as well. So if you hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell, you will get notified as those new videos are released. And my name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Make sure to make every day awesome and we'll see you soon.